And we welcome Jack Pyburn on XL Primetime. Jack, welcome in. Congratulations. How you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, I know this had to be an important decision for you, so kind of take us through it. Uh, the the final thoughts that you had before making a decision that you're going to commit and sign to Florida. Yeah, you know, I developed a really good relationship with the Miami staff and the Auburn staff, and so it made the decision very hard when it when it came down to the three schools. But ultimately, I just felt like Florida was going to be the best place for me and everything that I want to achieve and everything I've ever wanted. I remember talking to Bulls head coach Matthew Toblin uh, during the high school media day, and we were talking about Jack Piburn, and I said, boy, Piburn Roy really lays the wood to people. And Toblin looked at him, and he goes, yes, he does, <laughs> with a big smile. Uh, Jack was known to decleat somebody uh, at least a time or two during Friday nights here on 1010XL. Jack, correct me if I'm wrong, man. I'm making this point uh, on your behalf. You're kind of the poster child locally for waiting, right? December, you were a Minnesota commit. You decide not to sign in December. And now here we are in February, and you got Auburn, Miami, and Florida going after you. What was that six-week period like when you really, uh, boy, just vaulted into being a really, really hot commodity on the recruiting trail? Yeah, so, you know, I – I'd met with some people in the early, you know, contact period before, you know, the, the 15th signing and the early signing. And, you know, from there, we kind of decided that we wanted to, you know, take a little bit of a risk and, you know, not early sign. And then we wanted to see, you know, if more options were going to become available. And, you know, obviously did that. And, you know, me and my dad have a saying, you know, some other similar people have it too. Scared money don't make money. So <laughs> that's what we did. And it was, it paid out for me. Hey, Jack, first of all, I want to commend you for waiting. You know, sometimes these kids back in December are always pressured and the sign, sign, sign. You waited, took your time, and you got a lot more offers. So I commend you for actually waiting. So what what kind of impact? You're, you're a Florida Gator now. You're talking to a hurricane. Um, hate that you made that choice, but I'll live with it. Uh, <laughs> but what kind of impact are you looking to have as a freshman at your first year at Florida? I fully intend to be on the field, repping and, you know, getting getting reps in the game. You know, I'm I'm not looking to be, you know, a guy that plays in three years. No, I'm walking on freshman year prepared to get on the field and step on the field. And that's my mentality with everything, you know. If, and if you don't have the mentality, then you're not going to be an impact player or a great player, you know. I mean, my goal, it's a big goal, but I haven't put it out there yet. I want to be all SEC freshman, you know, first team. So that's my goal, and, you know, I'm going to go after it. So, Jack, uh, when, when Florida – announced your your signing on Twitter. Uh, they called you an outside linebacker. So are are, are they going to run a 3-4? You're basically going to be a rush in, or are you going to be a 4-3 and an outside linebacker there? So I'm going to be a rush in. Yep, I'll be an edge rusher. So they're definitely running a 3-4 th- a then. Interesting. They're going to run a hybrid defense, yes. Okay. We're talking with Jack Pyburn uh, from the Bulls School and now uh, officially signing with the University of Florida. And, and just go a little deeper into the Billy Napier uh, presence in Gainesville and how it's been different for you. Maybe it's been different for some of the other recruits that you've talked with. Maybe you can give us a few examples of that. Yeah, I can just tell you just the team in general is loving the direction that everything is going, you know, the support that they have and, you know, just the changes that Coach Napier has brought in as far as, you know, nutrition and just the way they prepare and, you know, just how much support. It's really about the support and the people, you know. There's people there that are for the guys all the time, and that's what makes it so great. And I think that, you know, Florida's lost a little bit of what made it great, and I really do believe that Coach Napier has the vision and knows how to get it back to what, where it needs to be. Jack, how did you and Florida come about? I saw an interview with you last night that Mike Peterson, former Gator linebacker, had a big impact on you ultimately signing with them. Yes. What went into the yeah. Mike Peterson situation? So, I mean, I started talking to Florida around like two, three weeks ago. Um, and then, you know, as we started moving, they sent people to, you know, get eyes on me and verify me. Um, once they saw that, they wanted me to get on campus immediately. Um, and just like, you know, on my visit, I spent a lot of time with Coach Peterson. Obviously, I look up to Coach Peterson. He was a, you know, Gator great. And he was an amazing player in the NFL. And, He's an amazing coach, an amazing guy. So that was a big part of it because I feel like he could truly develop me into a special player. Now, Jack, here's a little advice now. As far as your schedule go, all 8 o'clock classes, all right, because you got to get used to getting up early. 
All right, so don't be squandering around with ten to twelve o'clock classes. <laughs> well, I, all right? You know, I don't, I don't think getting up early is going to be a problem. Okay, all right. If I get up every morning at three forty-five. Okay, and <laughs> well, hell, hell. <laughs> and I get well, up at three forty-five and live from four forty to seven o'clock every single morning. Okay, well, you got the regimen already intact. All right. Now, the second advice I want to give you: your roommate, don't let him be a lineman. Okay, because we have a tendency to be sloppy, especially early on in our careers. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, got you. Hey, hey, yeah, Jack. My, my, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I said my plan is to make my uh, my roommate sign an agreement and be like, listen, bro, this is how we're going to keep the room. Common area needs to be clean. Your room, you can make it messy, but That's I don't smart. like mess. That's, <laughs> That's smart. smart. Hey, listen, hey, listen, before we let you go, um, you guys obviously talk together, recruits. Should we expect any surprises later in the day at Florida? I talked to some of the guys. I, I think there should be some good news come Florida today. I think it's going to be exciting. Dig a little deeper, Jack, if you will. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Certainly, Florida's got some big fish that are still out there. Jack, Florida here in Jacksonville. I mean, not not to throw any cold water on the previous staff, but I guess I will. I mean, you were a highly recruited guy while Dan Mullen was the coach there. Did Florida have any interaction with you while Mullen was the coach, or was this all a Billy Napier situation? You know, they came to, they came to see me, and they, they knew who I was, but, I mean, they didn't move any further with it so you know i viewed it kind of at the time as you know their loss and their mistake but you know coach napier definitely made up for that and amended for it and then, then the old staff and that's that's great to hear for florida fans because i mean look like you said you had built a great relationship with miami with auburn but i know you grew up a gator fan and i know that i know people that know your dad and, and the gator um fans that your family is you said it was your dream offer to play at the university of florida i mean have you kind of pinched yourself yet you just signed to play in the swamp and to continue your football career for a guy like you that's got to be that's got to be pretty exciting yeah i i feel like it's like a every single few minutes it's like a dream come true i don't even know it's it's crazy but i i'm just really really excited to get to work and i have no idea like i mean i'm hungry and you know, I, I don't feel like anybody works harder than me now, but just putting on those colors and playing for that school, I don't even I don't even know what kind of Jack Piper I'm going to turn into. <laughs> well, we're going to keep an eye on you. We'll hopefully be able to hook up with you from time to time. Uh, and speaking of uh, hungry, uh, you know, what are the Pyburns going to eat? Celebratory meal. You got that thing planned yet? No, I think I'll just have steak and rice like normal every night. Yeah. All right, Jack. uh, Congratulations. I I know the Bulls uh, family is proud of you, and I know Gators are excited to uh, to have you. So good luck, and hopefully we'll catch up soon. Thank y'all so much for having me. Thank y'all.